Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Song. Today, it is my great honor to introduce our latest work entitled Scalable Personal Education on Supervised Smooth Method. This work is co authored by Professor Xiang Bai and Qi Tian. Okay. Uh, the, the aim of personal modification is to identify the same person from different cameras. Usually, we have a training set labeled in pairwise constraints. The pairwise constraints is, are different from the category labels we usually use. Uh, it defines which two images belong, belong to the same person. Most of the works uh, in personal modification focus on two parts, and that is uh, facial learning and metric learning. Unlike those methods performed in the metric space, we address this task from another perspective, that is affinity learning. Other finger shows, uh, or method called supervised smooth manifold, can be a post-processing procedure or a ranking component for those methods. Uh, we, uh, we think light uh, the image piles uh, reside on a smooth manifold structure. If an unlabeled pair um, is closer to the positive pairs uh, in the feature space, it tends to be a true positive and vice versa. Uh, such an observation motivates us that uh, affinity learning can be done by propagating the pairwise constraint labels on image pairs. Okay, uh, our method can be divided into the uh, online part and the offline part. To improve its efficiency, the graph-based affinity learning is only done offline. In online paths, we propose probe embedding to efficiently compute the matching probabilities between the probe and the gallery images. You can find the more, more, more details uh, in our poster and the paper. Our, our method has three advantages. First, it can, make the best, uh, it can make the best use of supervision in pairwise constraints, which is easily accessible in this task. Second, it enables a highly efficient online indexing. Third, it can be a generic tool for most existing methods. OK, uh, to demonstrate this, we have used uh, five different data sets, four different features and two different metrics. As we can say, no matter which feature or which metric is used, our method can boost their baseline performance further. We now, we now give the comparison with the state, state of, of the art in person ratification. For each, for each, each data set, the first row shows the best performance to date, and the second row shows the performance achieved by our method. As we can see, we set a new state of the art on the five data sets. To summarize, the basic contribution of our work is to address personal ratification using a very nerdy, which didn't receive in, uh, enough attention in this field. We have provided thorough evaluations and found that our method can be a simple yet effective tool for most existing methods to further improve their performance. Okay, thank you for your attention.